Hey friends, welcome to my cottage vlog. I hope you're doing all well. Here in South Bavaria, Germany, autumn gets closer to its peak day by day. Maybe next week I can present you the first drone footage of a German fall forest. I got quite obsessed with rose hips these days, as they are ripe now. a lot of dog rose bushes in the area around the village and tried to get a lot of the fruits as I wanted to make several self-made natural products with them. that the one with the most beautiful fruits is just on a little river island next to our house. I thought that the best things are sometimes so close that they tend to be overlooked. the equinox, the days got shorter rapidly and I was surprised by the darkness quite a lot lately. So I tried to collect and harvest everything early in the day and planned to do the craftings with my nature treasures in the evenings. The most important thing when you want to prepare rose hips as food is to take the seeds out. They are too hard to digest and the white hairs around them make you itch. You can also make itching powder out of that. For whatever reason you should do that. Maybe to annoy your friends or your partner. But when the seeds are removed you can eat rose hips raw. They taste sour, sweet and very aromatic. Or you dry them to tea, include them into your meals or make jam. They are incredibly high in vitamin C, a real immune system booster. If you want to produce a rose hips skincare oil, you cut them in half, keep the seeds and pickle them with your favorite skincare oil for about a week or longer. It has moisturizing and healing properties. 
and it's the best oil to use as an anti-aging treatment. Look what I got from my grandparents again. This is the richest harvest this year. Like, look at this. And self-made apple juice. I'm actually here at a parking lot at the forest because I wanted to film the beautiful Alps with the snow. The first snow we got this year. <laughs> As all the lavender blossoms of our lavender harvest dried, I use them for my tea mixtures. I also crafted little lavender bags. Grind your heels into the sheets. Grit your teeth and get some sleep this evening. Counting sheep. I hope you enjoyed my autumnal Bavarian cottage vlog. If you did, you're maybe also interested into supporting me on my brand new Patreon. I upload bonus content there and depending on what tier you join in, you receive personal letters or emails with my drawings, inspirations or favorite Bavarian recipes. If you want to see how I make my favorite dish with fresh mushrooms from the forest, you can join there now. Link is in the description. You also get a little surprise gift if you join before next Tuesday. Have a beautiful week.